breathe in the smell of Christmas Eve, of Christmas on the horizon of tomorrow's sunrise. <laughs> you doing okay, sis? You seem kinda down. It's Christmas Eve. Aren't you excited? You've got the whole crew here, including your beloved sister, presents under the tree, caramel eggnog, and after all the festivities, we go out and light the Christmas tree in the center of town. And then tomorrow, on Christmas morning, we go home to Mom's to have a real Sutton family Christmas. I'm excited for all that stuff, but I wasn't able to get Raven the gift. Come again? I was in such a hurry shopping this season, like, I went a little overboard and started spending my money on a lot of Christmassy things. I bought enough gifts for everyone else except Raven. You know how every year we promise ourselves that we're only going to buy one special gift for each other? We've been doing that since we were in kindergarten, but I've just been so busy, and now I don't have the money to buy anything for him. I tried to get a little extra money, but businesses are closing for the holidays. He's going to think that I'm a horrible friend. I'm sure he has an amazing gift plan to give me. I have nothing. Oh my. You didn't even wrap the package. Listen, you people are lucky I'm even getting you a gift. Hey everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Summer. Merry Christmas, Sissy. I'm telling you, Summer, we shouldn't have brought gingerbread men. Ugh, I'm sure everyone else here has brought them. They're such obvious things to bring. We should have brought my delightful peppermint bars. They would have been such less obvious choices. Well, I know that Raven really eats up a lot of the gingerbread, so I thought it wouldn't hurt to bring a little extra. Merry Christmas, Summer! Dexter! Merry Christmas! That Santa suit looks really good on you, Dexter. I, I know how every year the, the studio gets together and has a party, and one of his guys puts on the Santa costume and goes out and gives gifts to families who don't have the money to buy anything for the holidays. I have never done it before because I've been so nervous about walking up to strangers. I just thought this year was the year to do it. I think that's very wonderful of you, Dexter. I'm proud of you. Mm, thanks, Summer. As he said, be careful, you never know when one of them could- ah! Break into oblivion. I just can't go, Beanie. Holly's my best friend. I can't go without a gift. She knows that you've had trouble paying rent. I'm sure she'll understand. I'm a lousy friend. Oh, I'm sure Holly has something really big and special to give me. I have nothing. Now remember, Raven, Christmas isn't about exchanging gifts with your best friends. It's about the birth of Jesus Christ. And it's about spending time with your friends and your family. Presents are really the last thing to be worried about at a time like this. <sighs> You're right. But I still want to find a gift! <sighs> this has got to be one of the worst Christmases I've ever had. Why is that, Luck? It is the holidays and I haven't gotten a single scoop on the LPS Hostel Film Studio. They still will not let me in. Maybe it's because all the scoops you try to get on them is gossip. That is what my paper is about, Fred. Gossip! Not all the nice things about how they run such a clean production and are almost always on time. Yeah, right. Their new series, Can You Imagine, hasn't been uploaded on in two months. And don't even get me started on Geek Club. They're doing a terrible job on that. It was hardly even scripted when the first episode came out. Maybe that's kind of their business? Fred, this is the year of 2018. People don't care about the nice things. They care about the gossip and slander. I wouldn't exactly put it that way, but- Fred, you are my cameraman. Do not argue with me. We are going to get into that studio tonight if it's the last thing I do, and we are going to find some papers of the scripts of the shows, and we are going to print them in our newspaper. Um, it will be the best Christmas present ever. <gasps> We should get back to the shop. No, Fred, I'm not going back to that shop. Sure, it's the only place I've made money this entire non-productive year, but I have had enough of it. I am ready to set my eyes on bigger heights. Let's just get back to the shop. <sighs> what you looking at, Holly? Oh, just my old scripting book. I remember when I first came into this building. This is the only notebook I had. I get it out and look at it whenever I feel nervous. It helps me calm down. It's kind of a bummer though, it really needs a new cover. It's so old, it's beginning to get frayed. 
Well, I know something that'll help your nerves for the entire night. Oh, and what's that? Cookie is currently working on the Christmas turkey. She's gonna be bringing it out any minute. Hello, everybody. It's ready. Oh, yum. Thank you for saving me a seat this season. Wait, what about Beanie and Raven? Hey, everybody. We're here. Come on, Raven. Raven? Has anybody seen Raven? Did he come in here before me? Nope, haven't seen hide nor hair of him. He'll be here soon, Beanie. Just come and join us. Okay, then. I'm here to sell something to you. And what is that, miss? It's old, but it's also kind of valuable. You are a scriptwriter. You have released several series, but I don't see what use this is to me. Please, it's the only thing I have. I just have to get a gift for my friend. <laughs> Very well. How much are you asking? Nineteen ninety nine, that's all. And a bargain it is. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. No, no. <gasps> Fred! Look, you cannot print the script in your newspaper. Why not? It's technically my shop, so I technically bought it. So it's technically and legally mine. Therefore, I can do whatever I want with it. She gave it over willingly. Listen, normally I would be all for this. But since it's the holidays, I really don't think this is a time to be taking advantage of other people's kind hearts. So no, I'm gonna be keeping this safe. Maybe one day it'll be worth a lot of money, and we can sell it instead of reprinting it in a gossip column. Ah! Sorry, Lucky. <laughs> Sir, I just don't understand why you keep coming back. You don't have any money for this. I came this time because you don't have any money, but I do have something to trade. Trade? Yeah. I have this. Is that an original vintage crimson red collar? Yeah, I've had it forever. It's a little bit old and used, but I think it's still worth something. Oh, certainly, certainly. Um, let's make the trade right here and now. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming here, sir. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Have a good new year. Hmm? Oh, Raven, there you are. You almost missed Christmas Eve dinner. Come on, Raven, there's still plenty of gingerbread left. You can say that again. Wow, a new book on vampires. Thanks, Beanie. It actually wasn't for me. Wow! Thank you for the present. I've lit. You're welcome, I had a hard time packaging it. But no you didn't, sir. See, it says Amazon right on the package. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Murray, come here. For you. It's a special tradition of my family to give each of my friends a special Christmas cupcake. It's a secret family recipe. And it's only for very, very special friends. Uh, thank you? I have something for you, too. I know how much you love cooking and baking and all sorts of yummy treats, so I made you something. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh. Oh, these look nice, Murray. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. I don't bake a lot, so they're probably not that great. But since you like eat almost everything anyway. Oh, yeah, they look great. Oh yeah, and I also got you this. <laughs> I have a hunch that she really liked that gift. Hey, 
Here's the, the present. Oh. Uh, do you want to open yours first? No, you go ahead and open yours. Oh no, I'm really excited to see your face when you see this. Alright, fine. Alright everybody, we're gonna go outside and light the Christmas tree in town! It's starting a little bit earlier than I expected, so we're gonna have to get a leg on! Uh, oh that's okay, we can open our presents there. Good idea. Raven, here's your present. Thanks, here's yours. Uh, a raven? I heard that the cover of your old script book was getting kind of frayed, so I bought you a new one. I know that it's really special to you. Oh. Thank you. Uh, you go ahead and open yours. Okay. Rhinestones. I know you've always liked them, and I know you wanted some for your lucky red collar. Oh, Holly, thank you so much. But I don't have my lucky red collar anymore. What? I sold it to get the money to spend on the book cover. You... you... you what? I'm sorry, Holly. I wouldn't have told you if I didn't think that you could get your money back. <laughs> Raven, I sold my old script book to buy the rhinestones. <laughs> you what? I didn't have the money, so I went and sold it just an hour ago. So did I. I sold my collar an hour ago, too. Oh, Raven, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you gave up your collar. You've had that thing for years. It's so special to you. And you gave it up for me? Well, of course, you're my best friend. I still can't believe that you gave up your old script book for me. I guess this goes to show that gifts aren't the most important things to friends on Christmas. Nope, it's our friendship that's the greatest gift of all. Okay, everybody! On the count of ten, we will light the town Christmas tree! Ready? Ten! Nine! <laughs>